Hi there, I'm Dave Smith from Kingsgate in England, and I want to give an encouraging word to you. I don't know whether you're in a troubled season or a blessed season or a transition season, but the message today is that God is the God of all seasons of your life. And if you'll stay faithful to him and walk with him, he will see that you arrive at his best place for your life. I want to just use Joseph, the Old Testament character, as an example of somebody who walked with God and stayed on track with God through all the different seasons of his life. You may not know the story, it's found at the end of Genesis and also in a shortened version in Acts chapter 7. And we see how a, there's a young man who has a dream from God, a dream of greatness. But like us, he wasn't ready to live the dream. Do you know, I believe it's so important that we learn to listen to the Spirit and hear God's vision and God's dream for our lives, but also that we allow God to prepare us for greater things in the future. And so, from the age of 17 through 30, Joseph goes through a long and a pretty arduous preparation season. Why did he go through a preparation season? Because, like us, he wasn't ready for what God had called him to. But he stays faithful to God in that season. I've, I've noticed as I've studied it that he passed a number of tests that very often you and I have to pass too. He passed first a forgiveness test. Amazingly, he learned to forgive those who had so grievously sinned against him. Secondly, he learned to pass the faithfulness test. That was when he ran from sexual temptation, didn't succumb to the advances of Mrs. Potiphar. And for many of us, we have to learn to pass that faithfulness test too and learn to be faithful to God and submit our sexuality to him. And then there's a third area, which is he passed the fruitfulness test. That, me that meant that even in prison and as a slave, he learned to be fruitful and prosper in the purposes of God. That's the preparation season. If you're going through a preparation season right now, can I encourage you, stay faithful to God. Because the good news is, preparation doesn't last forever. In Joseph's case, it was, he went into an amazing one-day promotion. For us, promotion sometimes comes more gradually and less dramatically. But I believe the God who promoted Joseph all those hundreds of years ago wants to promote you and promote me and his church, not for our purposes, but in order to fulfill his purposes. If we look at the Joseph story, we see that God didn't promote Joseph in spite of Joseph, rather God graced him with wisdom and favor. God gave him, the text says, unusual wisdom, both the prophetic wisdom of dream interpretation, and then the pragmatic wisdom of having a plan and giving him leadership and administration sufficient for running of an empire. I believe in the same way, God wants to upgrade you and me by giving us increased wisdom. And as we receive and we exercise God's wisdom, then we will experience more of the favor of God that is so critical when it comes to promotion. Just as God promoted Joseph, so God wants to promote us, his people. The question is why? Well, let's look at this third phase of, G of Joseph's life. Preparation, promotion, and then from the age of 30 through to 110, that's 80 years, he went into a season of what I would call prosperity for purpose. So important that we realize the reason for our promotion. God poured out incredible influence and affluence upon this young man, Joseph, but it was for God's purpose and for God's glory. Later on in his life, Joseph came to realize why God had done all of this. He said before his brothers, God did this for the saving of many lives. Why does God want to bless you, lift you up as an individual, as local churches? Because he wants to save many lives. We have an even greater message than Joseph. Like Joseph, we can pour out physical resources to help rescue people in the physical area of their lives. But we have a spiritual message of salvation for all. Can I commend to you this amazing character of Joseph? And like him, let's finish well and let's leave a great legacy for the next generation. God bless you.